while a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. Welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 152 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the challenger, Evo Way. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Yeah. Back to So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? That was a thudding leg kick. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start. Think about strike. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And they separate. Oh, big 
vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You've got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You get, you get, you get. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he landed the right hand there. Big kick land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh. Punch land. You be first. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And there comes the separation now. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Liver kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Great punch landing with so much power. is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Find it up on the right there to know that. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Goes back to that left kick once again. Final seconds. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's gonna go good night very soon. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the toe. Real sneaky body kick. The 
connects with a right. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Lee's shot is blocked. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind you. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, big knee. Knee to the body. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Splits the guard like the right hand. Nice defense there. Huge block. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. It's such a fast leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Ooh, what a punch. Straight right, he misses. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, spinning back kick. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he continues to work the body here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big leg kick land. Hands high, hands high. He's going after the head. The head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by switching. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now a knee. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 20 seconds to go, round two. And they set it. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. 10 seconds remain in round two. Unable to connect there. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. I need you to get your head back in the game. Remember the training. Please push the pace now.
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch lands through the middle. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Protect your face. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Big knee. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Sneaky head kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice punch, Lance. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Big body kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's a nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even in the Phenom movie, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He's really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. You need to take down now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. This is beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Head kick lands. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Go finish this fight. Oh! Beautiful combination there by Lee. 15 seconds to go. Whoa! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. 
Ray's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survived. But he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got it. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it to work and hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice loop and punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go here! Right up the elbow, the body kick land. the right hand there. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Let's focus, let's focus now. Good punch. Well, when you lean in like that, you're gonna be vulnerable to those straight punches to the body, and it landed right there. He left the body wide open, and his opponent took advantage. Just misses with the jab. In. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big oh. kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, our UFC well like the sound of that, getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 43 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. All right, so a lot of people like the challenger tonight, but it goes to the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight. Thanks to be promised. Yeah, he is just a great fighter. He does everything so well, and the confidence that he brings into the octagon on fight night is unmatched by anybody.